Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're predicting the Premier League table for this season. Now, I know what you're thinking. Simon doesn't know football. Simon's a fake fan. Simon's a Leeds fan from London. All of you, shut your mouth, okay? Last year, the Sidemen predicted the table and everyone was outraged, outraged by our predictions. But another YouTuber basically took all of the YouTubers' predictions and gave them a score based on how many positions you were off. So, for example, if you put Man City to come second and they win the league, that would be one point. The lowest score obviously wins because that means you were closer with everything. All of these football YouTubers, Spencer FC, James Alcott, Master Bucks, Reeve, Sharky, Thog Dad, Thogden, George Benson, out of all of them, all of them, the Sidemen. The Sidemen came on top. We predicted it more correctly than anyone else on this list based on that scoring system obviously so before you start saying you know oh how can you think this how can you think this chill out give it a season you can slate me in a year but i don't know if we're gonna even have a sidemen video this year so i'm taking it all on my shoulders to see how well I can predict the Premier League. But first, today's video is sponsored by Ultimate Fan, a brand new fantasy football app that combines traditional fantasy football with FIFA-style pack openings, which, let's be honest, was the only good part last year, so you guys will love this. It is a totally free-to-play game, and once you download and sign up, you'll be given a free base pack of 10 Premier League player cards to build your team from. You then pick a squad of six players and a team card, all from which you will earn fantasy points based on their real-life performance. Each week, there's a brand new contest. You don't need to worry if you miss the start of the season. Every week is a new game and a new prize fund up for grabs. In total, there's £300,000 being given away this season, including a £15,000 prize pot for this opening week. As well as opening your free base pack, if you want a slight edge on the competition, you can subscribe to Ultimate Fan Plus and for a maximum of £4.99 per month, you will get an extra gold pack each week, including three additional player cards, two of which are guaranteed to be gold players. And in addition to the extra pack, gold subscribers get a range of other freebies and goodies as well, but it is capped to just one pack per week, so you can't just buy loads of packs. So as you can see, my team's looking all right. It's just looking kind of decent for the first week. And including my additional gold players, I, I think I'm in an all right position considering it's just the first week. Although saying that, uh, it is Leeds v Man United, so Hopefully, Luke Shaw has a stinker. But for the sake of this, I hope he does well. This game is new, so make sure you download it now in the description down below. Get your team built. And if you are 18+, plus, there won't be a better chance to get some of the prize funds while there's not too many players in the game. So download it. Link in the description. And uh, let's get on with these Premier League predictions. So here we go. I'm doing it as a tier list, but I am going to put them in order. Now, I just want to say first off, I am very confident in Manchester City winning the league this season. I don't feel like I need to do that much talking about them. Have they made many signings apart from Grealish? Obviously, there's always the talk of Kane. I don't know when that will happen, if it does happen. But, like, their reserves are better than most first teams. So, I'm going to put them there. Grealish, don't know how good he'll be this season. He could be amazing, could be terrible. But... I think Man City, I think they're good. I think they win the league. I don't know how people are going to feel about the next one because this is top four. So I got three teams to put in here. Qualification for Champions League. I think Man United are going to do really well this season. I think Sancho, I, I haven't seen enough of him because I don't really watch Bundesliga football. I think they'll do well. I think they're definitely in the top four. But... I think Chelsea gets second this year. I don't know if by the time I'm recording this, if they've got anyone. I know Lukaku is obviously set to go there, but it's not 100% confirmed. I reckon he starts off stinky and then does amazing. But I think Chelsea gets second. I think Man United get third. Then I think Leeds fourth. Just wanted to trigger some people. Not really. You guys got to remember, right? This is all just entirely... A guess. A team could just play badly. So please don't hate me for this. I'm going to say Liverpool to come fourth. I think they signed Canate, the centre back. If I'm right, that I might be wrong. And I saw a rumour about them getting Renato Sanchez. I don't know if that's even a thing. But I think that top four for me, I'm happy with. I normally like to do this top four and then bottom three. And then I kind of work out the middle. Bottom three, I think Norwich. This isn't in order. Norwich, Brentford. Oh, and then... Watford. Watford, 18th. Brentford, 19th. Norwich, 
20th. Wait, is that the three teams that just came up? That, no, 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 I can't do that. I can't do that. Can I? I guess that, that's how I feel in my head. I think Southampton just avoid it. I need to put one of them out, but then Southampton may be in there. But I don't know. Brentford to me, obviously, I haven't, I haven't watched them. I didn't watch Championship football over the last year because, you know, now we're in the big leagues with Leeds and everything. Brentford without Ben Rama ain't the same. I don't know. Who have they, who have they bought anyone? No one that is going to sway my vote. I'm going to leave it as that. I'm going to go controversial and say those three, bottom three. I don't know if that is controversial. I think Leeds, firstly. I said last time, I said we would either come eighth or like 16th, I think I said. This year, I think we come 10th or 11th. So we're in this one, 7th, 8th. This is 8, 9, 10. Qualification for UEFA, I think Leicester. This is hard now, you know. I think Tottenham will be in this area, above Leeds, but, but there. I think Villa will be low. In my head, Villa now either bang or reek because they've lost like their star man. Maybe they bounce back stronger. Maybe not. Fifth, sixth, seventh. I think Arsenal will be there. I think West Ham are mid-table. Mid I think I go Wolves. I might go that order as well. Leicester, Arsenal, Wolves. Actually, wait. Who have Arsenal got? Oh, they did get Ben White. You know what? I'm gonna put them above Leicester. So that's fifth, sixth, seventh. We need two more teams in mid-table and then the rest in threatened. So who else do I think is going to be there? Palace in this area. I haven't done it in order yet. Maybe Newcastle here. Burnley here. Brighton and Everton. I see them both. Ah, Newcastle actually. I'm going there, Brighton there. Okay, these are the teams. Let me just put them in order. Do I think Leeds? Wait, that's 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. I think they're there. Newcastle up this side. Villa there. You know what? I'm happy with this. Man City win the league. Chelsea, United, Liverpool, second, third, fourth. They get Champions League. Fifth, sixth, seventh for UEFA competitions. Arsenal, Leicester, Wolves. Then Tottenham, eighth. Uh, West Ham, ninth. Leeds, tenth. Hopefully we do better than that. But I'm I'm very much of like a realist slash pessimist. That's not that pessimistic, obviously. But I don't think we're going to push for, you know, top four or anything. Maybe. Who knows? Everton, Brighton. Then threatened by relegation, but staying up. Newcastle, Villa, Palace, Burnley, Southampton. And then bottom three, Watford, Brentford, Norwich. Now, I have seen somewhere. I didn't look at it, though, until now. This is a club prediction. I don't know what it's based off, but they have predicted this. And they've gone Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, United. Liverpool, Chelsea, United. So close to mine. Arsenal, Tottenham, Leicester. Arsenal, Tottenham, Leicester. I just, just need to swap, you know, chuck Tottenham up. A couple positions. Oh, they put Wolves right down. Okay. West Ham. Brighton. Villa leads Everton. Brighton. Villa leads Everton. Then Wolves. Newcastle, Southampton, Burnley. Newcastle, Southampton, Burnley. Brentford, Palace, Norwich, Watford. Brentford, Palace, Norwich, Watford. So I feel like the bottom four, five is quite similar. They put Southampton a little bit higher. Villa much higher. But I feel like I'm happy with this. And I feel... Willing to take abuse at the end of the season if I'm very wrong. But you know what? I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I don't, I don't really know what to say in these videos. I'm kind of just doing my prediction. I'm going to try and go to as many games as I can, leads-wise. And also, I want to do a video. I want to try and go to a match at every single stadium this season. I'm already going to... Old Trafford for the Man United Leeds game this weekend. Probably Arsenal, Chelsea next weekend. That's already two down. Not looking forward to going to Norwich or Newcastle. But yeah, hopefully I'll see a lot of you guys at the stadiums. Let me know your predictions. Put them on your story. Tag me on Insta. Uh, I might repost some of them. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Make sure you check out Ultimate Fan in the description down below, as I said. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace.